By 9 o'clock, I should be done. And I'm going to bed. I've been up a long time. Okay, this was going on in the world today of boxing. Chavez Jr. I'm going to save you guys time for waiting on this press conference. It's a, all a hoax, pretty much. Is he going to fight? Is he not? The fight is on. Money's down. Money's been spent. Here's the problem. Chavez, fat boy Jr., decided to come into camp a little too big. He can't cut the weight because he's a lazy. You know what, but he ain't cutting the weight. So they're going to make the fight. It was a 160-12 rounder to a 165-10 round fight. Okay, Wallace's going to get more money, yada, yada, yada. So we're going to move on from there because that's all I want people to know. They're going to have a press conference to do that. They're just drumming up contracts and forget all that. Moving on, we got Sugar Shane Mosley and his attempt to try to make Freddie Roach change his mind in promoting the fight. Because Roach, of course, came out and said the truth. And that's the fight is a joke. There's no way this fight is really should be made. Full of Shane shot. His last two fights, he didn't look good. That's noticeable. But Shane Mosley said, Well, I did Pacquiao destroyed Margarito. I destroyed Margarito. It only makes sense if the two people that destroyed Margarito fight each other. Oh really? <laughs> Is that how you feel? I understand you trying to promote and I want you to get some money and cash out, but I don't want you to go out like this. But who was Margarito? This is a guy that was caught cheating. Okay? There ain't no telling how many times he's been cheating. You can't go back and do that. If he was caught robbing a bank, they, they would go back and investigate other robberies to see how many robberies did this guy do. In boxing, they can't do that. The commission's not going to go back to tell on themselves and say, yeah, we blew this. We blew that one. Yeah, we blew the Kodo fight. Yeah, and we blew this fight. Yeah, fire us. <laughs> no, they're not going to do that. So, yeah, they just called him for that, and that's that. But who is Margarito really? He's flat-footed, and he sticks his face out to get hit. Impressive? No. But don't try to make him a world beater because you knocked him out. Okay? The best welterweight in the world is Floyd Mayweather. Okay? Talk about that. <laughs> Saying, man, I, I, couldn't, I almost got Mayweather, but I couldn't get him. He don't want to fight Mayweather, and I fought Mayweather. At least I did that. We should fight. I mean, say something that makes some sense, except for we both knocked this guy out. Or we both destroyed this guy, so we should fight each other? Because we both destroyed the same bum? It's not, it's not smart. Now, the bigger question is, with these future fights, is what's going to happen with Paul Wee? And his team is saying that he's going to go down to 147, but fight whom at 147? Because he's not going to fight Andre Berto. We already know that's not going to happen. Who is he going to fight at 147? Um, I heard possibly Floyd Mayweather down the line, but not right away because his team's like, no, not right now. After a loss like that, we're not going to stick him in the ring with Floyd Mayweather. Ugh. Sorry, tired. But I really don't know what he's gonna do at 147. Fight Kermit Centron again, but why? That don't make any sense. So I want to hear your thoughts on that. What? Who? Who at 147 could he fight? Because you know Pacquiao and Mayweather are not even options for him. Um. And what was interesting is that the polls were out, and they were talking about the, this was done for the Pacquiao fans. Who did you want to see Manny Pacquiao fight? Floyd Mayweather is 60%. Okay, the next, the rest of the percents are broken down like this. Juan Manuel Marquez is number two. Number three is Andre Berto. Number four is Sergio Martinez. And number five, all the way at the bottom with 1% is Sugar Shane Mosley. 
So that shows you the Pacquiao fans don't even want to see him fight Shane Mosley. Okay? So, if that fight gets made, you know, how ridiculous is that? Now, where does Sergio Martinez go from here? Here's some news that uh, is kind of ground, might be groundbreaking to some, but some people just might just not know. Sergio Martinez is only going to fight three more fights, and he's retired from boxing. Okay? Now, you heard it here first. The guy wants to fight three fights, and he's dead serious about fighting three fights and no more. And he's only got three fights left in him, he said. And he doesn't want to fight anymore. He wants to do something else with his life. And he really wants to get out of the sport now. He's, he just wants to cash out right now Why he's as big as he is right now. So he's looking for three big money fights and then he's gone. Who do you think can generate the money besides Pacquiao, who's not going to fight him? Mayweather, which is an obvious uh, fight that might be made soon. Who else could generate that kind of money for him? I'm interested to hear your opinion. Uh, and everybody was talking about my my uh, my choice for Kell Brook, uh, Manny Pacquiao, and why would I think Brook could destroy him? Brook, uh, his size and the fact that he's very young, he's very very awkward fighter to hit. Manny Pacquiao would have a lot of problems with him. And I think he would just paint Manny Pacquiao because he's mad. He's been a number he's been a con number one mandatory for Manny Pacquiao for over a year. Okay? When they fought Kaladi, they could have fought Kell Brook. And they can't say, well, this guy doesn't generate any interest or nobody was interested in Kaladi. He's much bigger and brought more to the table than Kaladi does as far as fans. They guaranteed Pacquiao the same amount of money he got when he fought Kaladi. Okay, you would have made seven million, they would have put it on pay per view, and you would have fought over in England. You could have fought at the O2 Arena. They had all the venues. The problem was y'all your team did not want to fight Kell Brook. That's it. It was a bad, bad, bad matchup. That's why I told you guys, Kell Brook would destroy Manny Pacquiao. It's just a fact. It's a lot of fighters that would because of the styles. Now, a lot of people think the Devin Alexander, Tim Bradley winner should fight Manny Pacquiao. A lot of fans don't agree. Like Pacquiao fans don't even know who they are because they don't really watch boxing. They only watch Manny Pacquiao. So, a lot of them don't know what's going on. They're looking around like, who in the world is that guy? Where did he come from? I never heard of him. So, who is he to fight Manny Pacquiao? It's the same people like, I've heard Kevin Lioli, whatever his name is, from Yahoo Sports. This guy, he's so conflicted, he don't know what the hell to do. He's over here, Roberto, he needs to fight somebody, then he, he calls out Manny Pacquiao. Well, I don't think he's earned the fight to fight Pacquiao. What has he done to earn the fight against Pacquiao? Well, who the hell is he supposed to fight? <laughs> How is he supposed to earn the right if you're saying he don't deserve to fight the people that's supposed to be on his level? I mean, he's the WBC champion. you said he doesn't earn the title, but he's trying to fight somebody. You say, oh, well, he didn't earn that shot. Fight um, who? Who do you want him to fight? You say you want him to fight the best, then you say, okay, he tries to go out to fight the people y'all call the best, then you say he don't deserve a shot. It's really stupid. Y'all got to stop that. Y'all sound really ignorant. Okay, make a name for him to try to fight, and, and then get on those people. Like I tell y'all guys, get on Manny Pacquiao. You will make the Manny Weather fight if y'all start getting growing a brain Instead of focusing y'all negative energy on Floyd, you're talking about some he's scared chicken, blah, 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 focus on Manny and say, hey man, why don't you just take that damn blood test all the way up to the fight and and do it. Because I told y'all, Floyd Mayweather has the contract signed. His name is on the contract. Everything else that's been negotiated, Floyd Mayweather's name is on the contract.
for that blood test. All many have to do is sign that contract. Now, ask them that. Go on fieldboxing.com and ask Manny Pacquiao about that and see what he got to say. Oh, man. Hawaii? Yeah, I didn't grow up. I got this question on here. I didn't grow up in Hawaii. It's on Twitter. I didn't grow up in Hawaii, but I did live in Hawaii. Okay? Had a lot of great friends in Hawaii. I grew up in Chicago, of course. But I have a lot of friends in Hawaii. You know, so that's what we do over there. Is hang out and do things. But they're Filipino. A lot of people um, don't know that, but they were all Filipino, basically. It was like one other black guy, and the rest of them was Filipinos. Because in Hawaii, that's just like Filipinos, too. Philippines, too, rather. That's like a day whole country. And the other Hawaiians walk around there mad. Mad. I mean, the tourists and everybody. They mad about their land just being used like that. You know, they wear shirts, I'm 100% Hawaiian. You know, just walk around with an attitude. So the girls you see on the commercial, they'll be doing the little hula dances. Those ain't Hawaiians, those Filipinos. <laughs> I'm sorry to break that tea. <laughs> but, yeah, they run almost everything in Hawaii, too, man. I mean, like, everything. So it's, it's interesting. But I, got, I get along cool with them. It's, I don't have problems with Filipinos. People think like they like waiting for me like to beat me down. They not even like that. The, the, the most Filipinos around, they watch the boxing fight and they root for me. But th that's it. You know they worry about other stuff. They can care less about like like the stuff we do online, going back and forth. That's that's what I'm saying. Most of those guys are kids. Those these so-called Pacquiao fans on here. These are kids, like 13, 14 year old. So that's why I don't get into a cussing match with these people. And the Mayweather fans, too, I'm going to tell y'all, stop cussing these kids out. They, they kids. I'm like, they like 13, 14 years old. That's why they had so much time to do all this stuff. Because they're kids. They're little kids. They, can't, they don't know anything really about boxing. They just want to jump in and get in the conversation and have somebody respond back to them. But I'm going to bed. I'm tired. Go to my Twitter page and you'll see. It's Carcino, by the way. That's it. Uh, you'll see the, the question on there answered. And then I'll answer it right now. But it was what was the most boringest fight in boxing history? And I said uh, Freitas versus Zaire Raheem. Because I was watching Mosley uh, Forest too, and that was a you know that was a sleeper. But yeah, that's the worst one in history. But I'm gone. It's 13 minutes. Peace.